guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I think a lot of you are really, really going to enjoy, and that is the idea of Amy and Ty having twins in Heartland Season 14. But before I get into that, to that, I do have a couple of quick things to say. One, if you could please leave a like on this video, that'd be awesome. Leaving a like on a YouTube video, as I've stated many times in the past, is the best way to let me know that you guys enjoy when I do certain types of videos. So if you want to see more Heartland videos in the future, just make sure you leave a like on the video. So, um, the next thing I need to say is I have set myself a goal of hitting 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. Now, you're probably thinking, Hannah, are you crazy? The answer to that question is yes, by the way. But, um, I believe that if all of you guys help me out and click the red subscribe button down below, especially if you love Heartland and want daily Heartland videos and season 14 updates, then we can totally hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So that being said, if you've seen my videos before, or maybe this is the first video that you've ever seen, and you love Heartland, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And hey, it's a win-win situation because you guys subscribe and you help my dreams come true, and I repay you by giving you daily Heartland videos and season 14 updates so if you're a fan of Heartland why wouldn't you subscribe the next thing I need to say is that I am not at all affiliated with Heartland in any way shape or form I've never claimed to be I don't know cast or crew unfortunately does that make me sad on a daily basis you ask yes yes it does and I unfortunately do not work for CBC at the end of the day I am just a Heartland fan like you guys who enjoy making YouTube videos and talking about the show so this is just my opinions my ideas my thoughts and my um ideas on what could make season 14 of Heartland even better. So, uh, that being said, none of this is confirmed by cast or crew. So, I'm not at all claiming that what I say in this video is going to happen in season 14. It is just my opinions. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So, I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, didn't you just make a video like two days ago or three days ago uh, saying that you did not want Amy and Ty to have another baby in Heartland season 14? And yeah, you're right, I did. But there's a reason for that, and that is because I don't want them to have another baby because I think it would be an exact, um, the exact same storyline that what happened with Lindy. We've already seen Amy and Ty um, have the character development of having their first child, having to deal with, you know, the struggles of becoming a new parent, having to um, learn to balance work, Lindy, family, uh, everything, um, having to... Uh, become responsible for another a child. We've already seen them uh, go through that. And so for them to have another child, it would literally just be the same thing. But I got to thinking a couple of days ago, uh, after I posted that video actually, and after I read some of the comments, you guys were like, hey, what if they have twins? And then I got to thinking, well, first of all, having twins is a bit more complicated than just having uh, one baby because then you have two that you're responsible for. And they already have Lindy. So instead of having one newborn, they would have two. And that's a lot more added stress just in that. And then they have Luke as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to adopt Luke in season 14 or not, but at the way they finish season 13 and how they set it up, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so let's assume that they have Luke. So they have Luke, they have Lindy, who's a toddler, and now they have two newborns that they're responsible for. And let's face it, newborns are helpless. They can't do anything for themselves. They can't go to the fridge when they're hungry and get a snack. No, they cry, and that either lets Amy and Ty know they need to be changed, or they're hungry. That's what babies do. So, they would have to juggle taking care of Lindy, being there for Luke, and dealing with uh, two newborns at the one time. And then I got to thinking, what if one of those, uh, one of the twins um, is diagnosed with a physical disability, or, you know, they find out it has a physical disability. And for those of you that are unaware, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, that's why I'm always sitting down. I'm always in a chair. Uh, I've had a physical disability since I was born. I don't know what it's like to walk uh, the way you guys do. And so, um, you know, being someone who has had a physical disability all my life, um, I think it'd be super cool to see a character uh, come into Heartland who has to deal with the same things. And um, if they wrote it properly, uh, they wrote the character properly and they wrote, you know, the actor 
if they had an actual representation of what is it is like to live with a physical disability, I think it could also help people learn that, oh, you know what, their life isn't that easy. Um, they have to deal with stuff. There's a lot of, you know, acceptance that has to come with having a physical disability and there's a lot of stuff that I have that they have to do different and that I have to do different. Uh, so it'd be really cool for me personally as someone who has a physical disability to uh, watch how they would go about that. And then there's also a lot of uh, things that have to happen when you have a child with a physical disability. You have to understand that, oh, they're gonna need more help than the average kid when they're growing up. How are we gonna help them deal with, you know, bullying that might happen? Or how are we gonna deal with uh, the fact that, you know, they're gonna be upset sometimes because they're not normal? And how are we going to be there when they're so upset because they feel left out? Or there's so much stuff that uh, plays a part in not only being a child with a physical disability or a kid or a teenager, but also being a parent of someone with a physical disability is hard too. I mean, and I know that because I am a child with a physical disability and my parents have raised me and I, I know it's been difficult for them sometimes because... At the end of the day, parents try their best to be there for their kids and understand, but at the end of the day, like, they don't understand what it's like to be in a wheelchair, and I'm so glad that they don't because it's the worst thing in the world, but there is a lot of, you know, things that you have to overcome and things that parents have to understand and, you know, just dealing with it there is stuff that i can't do and there would be stuff that the character can't do and how would amy and ty you know how would they adjust to that would they be able to understand how would they come to accept that because there's a level of acceptance that has to happen for both the parent and the child so how would that affect their family what would the character grow up to be like would they grow up to be independent would they grow up to be dependent like what what would happen and so i think that that would be a really really cool storyline for heartland season 14 because a it'd be something that we haven't seen before and b it would add a lot of character development for amy and ty because that's dealing with something having a child with a physical disability is dealing with something that you know is hard and you have to really you know understand it and be there for them and you know, how would Amy and Ty deal with that? Would they be up, would they be able to handle it? Would they be there when the kid needed their help? Would they understand? Would, you know, there's so many questions. And so I think that that would be a super cool storyline for Heartland season 14. And speaking as someone with a physical disability, I think that if they write it, if they write an actual representation of, you know, what it's actually like, what is it like dealing with a disability? What is it like for parents who have a child with a disability. I think that that could also uh, be a way to teach people, you know, this is what it's like. This is what it's like for a family that has a child with a disability. I think that that would be so good. And we've also, you know, this is something we've never seen on Heartland before. Uh, you know, we've seen Caleb's rodeo friend Bryce, but I mean, uh, he was only in there for a couple of episodes. It's not a member of, you know, the Heartland Bartlett Fleming Morris family that has a physical disability that is there every single day that has to overcome things. So I think that that would be super cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Would you like it if one of the the twins had a physical disability? Uh, do you think it'd be a cool storyline to watch? Would you be interested in learning more about what it's like to live with a physical disability and what it's like for uh, parents? to have a child with a physical disability do you think that that'd be interesting to watch let me know down in the comment section down below and i'm going to go uh make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed i had a lot of fun making this video just because i got to uh talk to you guys about you know something that i face on a daily basis and my parents have had to face and my parents have had to help me through and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below do you think it'd be cool for heartland to have a character with physical disability anyway i'm gonna go i hope you guys have a great day make sure to leave a like drop a comment, and subscribe uh, if you want every single update possible on Heartland Season 14, including uh, official announcements from cast, possible release dates, and so much more. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.